Hello friends! Today we're back in the ancient days of old Minecraft and this episode we're in 1.4. 1.4.6 specifically. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dee and I started playing Minecraft in 1.19 and now I'm going back to experience at least some of the nostalgia so many of my friends have for the old days of Minecraft and hey, just in time for the 15th birthday. Today, our objective is to make as many types of fireworks as we can. Step 1. We murder many mobs. So, 1.4 is called the Pretty Scary Update and is the first time we have a name for an update. It introduced quite a few new features to the game, including a lot of mobs such as witches, bats, wither skeletons, and of course the wither as well as enchanted books, carrots and potatoes, beacons, flower pots, and so many more things. I still can't click drag. That's just the worst. Why, why did it take so long? Okay, I'm going to jump down into this ravine, I think. There's so much coal! Interesting, Stone Age is not a thing yet. Getting an upgrade is, though. Woo! Where did he... Where did he come from? Oh dear, interesting. Buddy is not okay. Okay, there is a lot of iron down in there though. I am definitely going to need at least a couple of buckets for this one because I'm not going for the full diamond experience or when I do, it's going to be for diamonds for putting into fireworks and not diamonds for mining obsidian. But we are going to need to go to the nether in order to get wither skeleton skulls. There's a lot of little things that we're going to need in this one. Okay, well we got 35 iron ore and a stack of coal from that, so that was well worth it. Alright, well, I think I would like to set off in this direction. I don't know, the other way feels like it has an ocean to me. Oh, <gasps> we have a cardinal direction! Oh, <gasps> look at that! It says facing south! Amazing! I do believe we still only have the two kinds of flowers, so we're going to need to find a desert so we can get some cactus for some green dye. We are going to need to find some lapis, which, well, in our 1.0 world, lapis was harder to find than diamonds. Ooh! That was an interesting noise. I would like to find, I think, a village. That would be nice. Or just a good place, maybe a ruined nether portal, so I don't have to... Do ruined nether portals exist, actually? I'm not sure. Okay, I just double-checked, and ruined portals don't generate until 1.16. So, our best bet for building a portal is, without going straight up diamond, is gonna be a lava pool like that one. Oh, oh okay then just casually a jungle temple sitting there? Sheesh. I do need a desert as well. Need that cactus. Oh yeah, cocoa pods. Cocoa pods are for our brown dye. Squids are dying for some reason, and those are for our black dye. Some gold. That's perfect. Okay, I definitely need a place to call home base at this point. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really pretty spot for it. I wouldn't mind calling even the jungle pyramid home base there's a village excellent i was right this direction just had good vibes wouldn't it be awesome if there was a smith in this village who had a diamond i would be happy to call this place home i think so we know we have the jungle over there, there's lots of woods around, and we're going to keep exploring from here to find ourselves some desert as well. Alright, let's go ahead and dye ourselves a leather tunic while we're here. Oh, the flowers make two dye. That's actually awesome. I should have grabbed the string from the jungle pyramid so I could make myself a bow. Step two. Is this what they call wild crafting? Well, we've got a cute little yellow tunic, and now we need to just really focus on collecting things. All right, let's go. Ooh, ooh those are potatoes, aren't they? <gasps> Is that a fully grown potato? Maybe not. All right, well, I do need some sugar cane, so we'll go grab that. 
<gasps> Ooh, I haven't actually seen a mine shaft yet. Right, I think? There's some lava, that's perfect. Excellent. Okay, I am going to take a little run along the east and west axes from our village and just kind of see if I can't, you know, find a desert. Okay, this is like a real ocean then. Oh, and then there's a cold area. So one of the things I'm not sure about is if there is any like pattern to biome generation like there is now. Like now, you know, warmer biomes are going to generate next to warmer biomes, colder biomes are gonna generate next to colder biomes, but I don't think that there's really enough different temperatures of biomes or like biomes in each temperature set that that actually would be a thing, but I don't know. Oh, I just noticed that the actual like damage noise is like the one, the normal one, the current one that I'm used to. It's not the ankle cracking sound anymore. Okay, and this is proper ocean, okay. And it seems like the chickens aren't reacting to the wheat anymore and neither are the pigs. So I think we can assume that they've been updated so that, look, they're also, they're also triggering on the wheat from a lot farther away. But I think we can assume that chickens now eat seeds, not wheat, and same thing for pigs eat carrots now, all that good stuff. Okay, 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 so you apparently craft fire, fire, charges, yeah, fire charges, with coal, blaze powder, and gunpowder. Obviously, gunpowder is going to be its own thing, but we need to go get wither skeleton skulls anyways, because, well, you can now use skulls to make the creeper face in the fireworks. Now, let's use white dye and black dye. Actually, let's just craft each of these dyes. So I think bone meal is just used as a dye on its own. <gasps> Wait, can you not turn ink sacks into black? Oh no, okay, okay. The black dye is just the ink sack. That's kind of cool. So let's look at what that would look like. Can we add, oh, <gasps> we can combine them. That's awesome. Okay, well, we're gonna do that and we're gonna put a little bit of white and red in that one. There we go. And I wanna do like a light blue, I think, for the cat. Oh, and you can shift click them onto yourself now. Oh, that's awesome. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and check out that mine shaft. Now I need to figure out how to get down into there and oh, things are on fire. You know what? If they're stuck there, who am I to unstick them, you know? Whoa, there they go. Woo! Okay, they're just gonna keep spawning and slowly crawling through there. If I don't deal with them. They can still kind of hit us from far away. The slow healing rate is the worst part of this so far. Now that we got rid of that set of spiders and we're able to sleep through the night, let's get down into a little bit more of this mine shaft. Whoa! He doesn't even care about the rails. Whoa, there he goes. Okay. So far it's not seeming like there's any actual treasure to be found in here. Oh, that's a, that's a zombie villager. Woo! That was almost really dangerous. Lapis, bless, that's perfect. Ooh, melon seeds. I haven't actually grown melons yet. More lapis. I'll take the redstone. Oh, oh, that was a bat. Okay, cool. I think I'm about done with this just because I'm a nervous girl. Okay, just peeking around here. I'm not spotting any more chests. So I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna say we're good to go. I definitely wasn't even planning. I don't know where that was, and I don't wanna. I wasn't even planning to do a mine shaft. Like, 
This is a little extra bonus. We got Lapis out of it, so that's good. I don't know what's happening, guys, but the rendering in this game is terrible. The good news is now we have a little bit of blue. I want to start thinking about making this nether portal. Oh my goodness, I hate Minecraft water physics so much. Um, so I think I want the nether portal to be just kind of on the outskirts of this village. So, in order to not have to go the diamond pickaxe route, we are going to use lava and kind of use a mold, I think. I have seen people do this before, but I have not actually done it myself. But we go like so, and then we go like so. Awesome. We're going to end up with so many villagers in the nether since we've built here. Oops. Oh, well. We've got everything I can think of that we might need. So we're going to go ahead and venture on into the nether. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's a fortress right there. That's awesome, actually. That's literally perfection. I hear... I hear the ghast. Do not see the ghast. I'm going to go get this glowstone first. I think we just need to get up into this fortress. This, this looks really odd. It doesn't seem to go farther. Looks like it continues going this way. I hear a blaze spawner. Or maybe it's just a blaze. Here's the thing, even now these guys barely, barely trigger on you. Ooh, I'm about to die. Oh dear. That's not good. Why does health regen so slow? It's just rude. Come on, buddy. Hi. Hi. There we go. Come on. I'm right here. Come on. Good gravy. Oh, that one did also drop a blaze rod. That's good. Okay, then I'm not even going to go over to the blaze thing anymore. That's enough for me. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That stinking turned around. Of course I did. All I need is one wither skull. That's all I need. Woo! Please don't. There's like seven ghasts around me. I can't so much as peek my head out without getting shot at. I don't want to deal with ghasts. I'm not here to deal with ghasts. I just need a wither skeleton. I also have three arrows. quite glad that I didn't set a goal like defeat the wither or something like that. I feel like that would have been worse. Can we navigate the ghasts safely? I don't think we can! Ow! Oh, we did get him pretty close though. remembering why I prefer farming at the end of the day. I can go do adventure stuff a little bit, but it gets really, really stressful for me. Like, so stressful. And just sitting here wandering around a fortress, killing wither skeletons whenever I can find them, while the ghast apocalypse is going on around me. Like, I hate this. I hate this. Why can't I sprint when I need to sprint? We still need to go find a desert. So I think I'm gonna go do that. And then maybe if I'm feeling better in a bit, I'll come back, see if I can't get this skull, but I'm gonna try to not stress about it too much because I am stressing about it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep heading south. I don't know why, but south feels good to me today. There we go. The little, the little oak tree island. That's really cute. Unfortunately, oak trees is not what we're looking for. Come on, Minecraft, get it together. 
<gasps> no. Oh! Wait, you can just get out of boats? I did not know this. It's by right clicking. Okay, I, I was trying to shift out of the boat for the past four episodes. Okay, then. This really is just a vast expanse of ocean, isn't it? This is a little, a little eerie, not gonna lie. I swear one of you said something in the comments of one of the videos about, about the nostalgia for this specifically. Just exploring the huge, vast expanses of ocean. I didn't realize it was this vast. Speaking of, is this just another island? There's lots of these little islands, which is really interesting. Anyways, I feel like while I'm chugging along here, this would be a good time to go ahead and read the comments from the video for, let's see, what is it, 1.2 and 1.3. So while Pasty goes about boating thousands and thousands of blocks, I'm going to read your comments. User Apterix Drake said, Whenever it was that the cat sleeping on a bed came in, I wasn't really playing survival, and so I had that cuteness valve blowing up when I accidentally discovered it. It was only a few years ago, too. User CD47Art said, Huh, I didn't know they didn't always have colors, or that ocelots could have families that big. So cute! Ixie commented, I remember hearing somewhere that the reason why ocelots don't take fall damage is to prevent them from dying from falling off of jungle trees. In my old worlds, ocelots would constantly spawn on trees and then fall. It was raining ocelots. They also commented that, I remember that I tamed my first Minecraft cat by making him run into a pool to slow him down so that I could feed him. I felt so bad about it afterwards, but it had to be done. If you are wondering... It died in a creeper explosion the following night, lol. They also cursed me with absolutely cursed knowledge by saying, Fun fact you will never be able to unsee. The texture inside your hotbar slots is just the old sand texture. Have fun with this cursed knowledge. It is certainly cursed and I cannot unsee it. Moving on to the 1.3 episode. Creative Man 2 says, I started playing at around 1.3.2 and I still remember how I felt with each addition to the game. Bats were added near when Slenderman was at its high. Quartz was really cool to use to build Greek-like structures and I even remember when they added the turn functionality to stairs. Roofs became a lot cooler after that. Nowadays, it's actually kind of hard for me to play on older versions because I end up missing a lot of the new features, even the more recent ones. User CD47Art said, I kind of miss the old boats. They broke easily, but they were so funny and so fast and easy to control. I still like the look of boats now, but I will admit I still haven't fully got the hang of the new controls. Apterix Drake said, I remember the glitching light issues and the delayed terrain loading. Back when this was the new version, I was running a potato computer and all of the terrain would take a couple of seconds to load. But at this point, your character wouldn't stay put until it loaded. You'd just drop into the void. So my friends and I would always remind each other to put all our stuff in a chest before signing off. And they also mentioned that those breaking boats were such a pain in the beginning, but at some point they brought in that you could buffer the landing impact with wool. I remember making complex wharfs all made out of wool for myself and other players. We had water parking lots. It was fun. And official Leafstar360 said, I have some nostalgia for 1.2 to 1.3 because that was the update that was on Xbox 360 when I started playing. I remember walking in a friend's room and he was playing it. He was making a sky base. Wasn't great, but it was my childhood bases for the longest time. I love reading all of your comments and your stories about Minecraft nostalgia, so do please keep them coming. I love them. I was just realizing my feet aren't sticking through the bottom of the boat anymore. I'm seated! Yay! Much needed fix right there. Also, the way the ocean floor generates is really interesting. I think now it's a lot smoother. Like, there's a lot of- Oh! <gasps> That's a piece of cactus! That's a piece of cactus! I don't know if this is an actual desert or just a little island. Oh, it is an actual desert. Okay, that's cool. There's a cactus. Thank goodness. 
And that tree looks like it has snow on it. So apparently hot and cold biomes can generate right next to each other. Just gonna point out that we have traveled almost 8,000 blocks to get this. Okay, as I'm just kind of sitting here cruising the ocean and thinking about my failure with the wither skeletons, like obviously I have it left open that I can go right back. The portal is right there next to the fortress. So like it's easy enough to pop back in. But if I'm not feeling it, if it's too stressful, we can count that as a minor fail, you know? Like, I don't have to succeed at every single one of these objectives, or at least not completely, you know? At the end of the day, the point is that I'm experiencing the game, right? Sometimes failure or discouragement is a part of the game. That's just the way it is. What is happening? The world just like stops there, huh? Oh, look, there's a mine shaft. I really don't want to boat over that. That's cursed. This world is a little cursed, I think. Those are zombies. Which means that must be a cave, which means what is happening? Okay. Okay, this is cursed. This is really, really cursed. Oh no. Oh no. That one did break on a squid. How many squid? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Look at the little water particles. They're so cute. They're a lot like the void particles, which I think is really cool. And I hadn't noticed that. Like, I hadn't taken note of it yet. I don't think we have these at all in current Minecraft. And boop. I wonder if we can make it back to the village before the sun goes down. I don't think we're going to quite be able to make it. Oh, oh, we might, we might just make it actually. Okay. Well, obviously we need to plant our cactus somewhere so we can get a lots and lots of good green dye. I think up here on this hill is perfect. I love the sound for cactus. I don't know why, but it's perfect. Anyway, it's from here. I think I am going to go mining for a little bit to find us a few diamonds. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to go chase creepers. Step three. Things blow up in my face. All right, my friends. I have been mining. I have been doing a little farming, and I have actually gone a little bit of creeper hunting, but we need a little bit more because I have five gunpowder. I did make fire charges, though. I've never done that before. That was an interesting, interesting thing to realize I could do. Um, but we've got a good amount of dyes going on at this point, or dye materials. We need more gunpowder to make actual fireworks stars, too, I think. All right, yeah, let's actually double check how that works because if we take gunpowder and let's take a red and a white dye and we put these all here. Yeah, so we make the firework star with one piece of gunpowder. We have to make the firework with another piece of gun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so basically we're going to need a lot of gunpowder. Maybe I should have made a mob farm. I don't know. Yeah? Mm, okay. Okay, bud. Oh my goodness, even more zombies. Okay. I see how it is. Also interesting, I'm noticing that like things are even more zombies, for goodness sake. I'm noticing that things are despawning relatively close to me. So I wonder if like spawn distances are different. Like that's kind of what it feels like, I guess. Got the creeper's attention. Hey. Hey buddy, don't you blow up on me. Whoa, okay. Nope. And last one, there we go. Nothing, great. Oh, the Enderman's angry. What's the Enderman angry about? Is he angry at me? It's 
swear to everything, I didn't mean to make you angry. If, if you're angry at me. Hey, bud. Hi. On the, the skeleton dropped arrows, too. Don't hurt the chickens. Yay! And that guy dropped two. Okay, that was that was a better night. Okay, here's the thing, is I haven't really done a lot of playing around with fireworks really ever yet in the game. Oh, come on. How do you turn lapis into blue dye? Okay. Is the lapis just the blue dye in and of itself? I wonder. It is, okay, okay. Is that 16? That's 16, okay, that's all 16 dyes, cool. So now, here's my next question. Can we, let's take a lime and a magenta, cause like excellent colors, and a bit of cyan. And then we're gonna come over here and we're going to, let's see, what does the gold nugget do? Golden nugget is star shaped. Okay, so what if I want to make a twinkling Twinkling star with these. Can I do that? Can I also add a feather, for example? Would that... Okay, so I can add multiple effects to them. That's good. But only to a certain limit. Or maybe, maybe only some of them actually apply? Because the burst is the feather and the twinkle is the glowstone dust. So if I took the feather away, could I do a fire charge instead? Okay, so basically I think there's a couple of like layers of effects that are happening because this is affecting, you know, how the actual like explosion acts where this is, this is how it's shaped. I think that's what the difference there is. Duration to firework. Could we then also add both, both stars we could okay i see how this works what if we made a twinkling burst with yellow and white and then we could put them all together boom and some paper oh we only get one rocket oh that's terrible okay the sun is going down though so let's head out with our newly minted diamond sword and gather some more gunpowder and he dropped a gunpowder right off the bat. There's a couple of creepers over here. Let's see if we can't deal with them one at a time. Here, let's get you first, bud. There we go. Two. And three. There we go. Nice. He did not drop anything, though. That was rude. Three, there we go. He also didn't drop anything. What the heck, you guys? Three in a row that didn't drop anything. That's just, mm, that's just rude. Spiders are inevitable, I guess. Okay, we have a creeper over here. Oh, there's a spider jockey. I don't think I've seen spider jockeys yet. Hey. Hi. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Where did he come from? All right, let's peek over the hill. See if there's any stragglers. I think the diamond sword is helpful, damage-wise, anyways. Even though we're still struggling to get gunpowder from a lot of these guys. I want to make something that can go with the, where's the red and white firework star? I put the wrong one in this one. Oops. Oops. Okay. So now we need to make something that goes with this. Awesome. This one. This one's going to be the dramatic herbalist special right here. Look at those colors. Good gravy. Are you guys okay down there? It sounds like they're having a stroke. Okay, well, I think we can finish crafting up fireworks. And I'm pretty sure we've used each color at least one time, so that's good. Okay, I'm really finding this uh, firework building process quite fascinating, though. Okay, 
So we have a star. And we need one more effect. I think we're going to do just a small ball. No, we're going to do a large ball. We have one more fire charge. We're going to do a large ball. And that's our last piece of gunpowder. There we go. So then, we need a place to launch all these fireworks from. And hopefully the rain will go away before it gets dark. You know what? I think that we can actually make dispensers already. I actually want to... I want to check this out, actually. Interesting. Oh, wait, is this the update where we got thunderstorms? <gasps> I think it is. <gasps> oh, okay. We're going to have to wait through another night, but I didn't realize we got thunderstorms now. Oh, that's the problem with dispensers is dispensers require a bow that has full durability that didn't get added until later. So let's make a new bow and try this again. Because there's dispensers in like the jungle temples and stuff. Okay, there we go. I haven't actually looked at the texture of these guys at all. And can we make buttons yet? Yes, we can. Cool. Why can't I place the button? Interesting. Okay. No, it shoots it out that way. Okay. I don't think a dispenser is going to work great for this, unfortunately. We just want a pretty little spot to be able to fire off our fireworks. Oh, they don't connect. Oh, rude. Okay. Fine then. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dress ourselves up in fun colors before we go fire off our fireworks. I love that we got to dye leather armor this early. Like, that's pretty neat. Look at us, all schnazzy and ready to go fire off some fireworks. So as the sun goes down and the moon rises... We're going to start with our very first one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you guys, like, keep it down? That was cool. Oh, that's the little black one. Okay, that's actually really cute, though. Oh, that one goes high. I liked that one. Oh, that was cute. That's a cool one. And now, for our final firework, which, of course, I made in all of the colors of the channel. And I will be taking a screenshot. And I will be dealing with this zombie first, because that's just unpleasant. <laughs> You, sir, are unpleasant. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot in the middle of this, so it's going to freeze for a second. There we go. Oh, that was lovely. I liked that one. Well, this was a fun one. I really enjoyed getting to play with fireworks, because that's not even something I've really done in current Minecraft. And I can definitely see how the crafter could make this really, really fun. But it was really cool to see a lot of new features in this update, and like, yeah, I understand why, you know, this is the update that they named. If you enjoyed this video but didn't get to see the beginning of the series, I started all the way back at 1.0 and made a video for each new update, so go and check that out at the playlist that I'll put here at the end. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!